Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming back at you. Um, what I wanted to talk about right quick is that um, I've ordered a product, I got a notice that um, it's being shipped um, as of today, so I should have it next week. But um, I became interested in it because I watched several videos, predominantly by Nap Natural85, it's N A P. T U R A L eight five, and um, basically it's called Terra Ter Essential Pure Mud Wash, and uh, basically from her videos and if you know her, she has a fierce head of natural hair. I just love her. Um, she has two channels too, so uh, if you can go over and check her out because she is. Um, She's awesome. She's really doing it for the natural hair care uh, ladies. Um, but um, it comes in four different um, uh, scents. Uh, they have a, a lemon, there's a, a lavender, there's a spicy, a surly spicy, and then I think there's a, um, well actually it's five because I can't remember what the fourth one is, but Oh, it's the mint, and then the last one is for people who are very sensitive to smell. Uh, it doesn't have any um, scents in it. And there was one other young lady who um, she reviewed, I think her name is Dawn uh, E-L-E or something like that. She um, actually reviewed the four scented ones, and she explained um, which ones she liked. Now, uh, apparently I ordered the lemon and I also ordered their surly spice. Um, from what I've seen with the ladies who tried, all maybe all of them, they're saying that the surly spice is not the, you know, is it, apparently a lot of people don't like it. However, what I did not know before I ordered the product was that um, if you go on the website for um, the company that sells the products and um, you can actually um, just google it it's t-e-r-r-e-s-s-e-n-t-i-a-l-s -S -S -E -E in other words it's t-e-r-r -R and the word essentials and uh, just put those together google it and it should come up give you the company that actually um, you know um, product uh, produces it and so forth but on the website, um, I did go on the website before I ordered it. I read it, but I guess I didn't really pay too much attention <laughs> because it was sort of late at night. But I'm sort of like when it's something that I know that I'm interested in, I'll go ahead and get it. It's either going to work for me or it doesn't. But um, basically, um, they will they they um, will tell you which product works based on your hair type. And from what I understand, the Surly Spice, and the reason I selected that one as one of my choices is that um, I like the ingredients that it had in it. So I figured um, either, you know, I'll try it, I'll like it. Um, you know, if not, I'll find a way to mix it <laughs> with some of the other mud and, um, you know, to, to get through it or whatever. But supposedly, if you have fine hair, which I do, that one is one that works for fine hair. So, just because it doesn't work for one person, doesn't mean that it won't work for someone else. And um, I'm getting to the fact that, you know, using all natural products, you're going to run into some things that are a little earthy or um, where you're not accustomed to using natural products. It may take a while before you get used to using the product. But um, I'm looking forward to receiving it, and once I use it, I'll do a review. Now, what they do require is that you do a seven-day detox, and uh, or seven. Well, it's supposed to be seven days, but it's actually you use the product, I believe, seven times, and um, they give you a breakdown of how to use the product. Um, you will actually say the first time that you use it. I think you will do like two to three mini washes. Um, not that you have to wash your hair three times so it's just like if you're in the shower and you're you know doing it you apply it to your hair like you would shampoo uh, mostly concentrating on your scalp using the balls or your fingers and uh, then you rinse it out and then you do it uh, you know two more times so that would be one then you go to the second day but it does say seven days um, 
So after you do the seven-day detox, basically what it is is for people who primarily use um, non-natural products is to get all of those parabens, silicones, all of that stuff out of your hair. Now, um, I know that from what I have been reading and hearing, it works excellent for women that are natural. It does not say because you're not natural, maybe you're tax slack or you have perm that you can't use it, but you got to realize that it's mud. So um, they show you how um, in natural 85, she shows how you use it. You don't need a lot. You put it in a little container, pour some of it in, maybe I think like a tablespoon or so, depending on the length of your hair. If you have a lot of hair, you probably need to double it. But you also add water, and I believe um, one young lady shows how she gets, because mud, when you use it all, it sticks to the bottle. So she puts aloe vera juice and shakes it up and adds it in. So you could also use your different, you know, concoctions, like putting aloe vera juice or something in it to, you know, make it where it's not so thick and everything. But um, basically... Why I felt like I needed to use this is that when I watched about, I think it was my third video that I watched in Natural 85, she was like, and I think she had been using the product for a year at the time when she did this video, and she was still excited about using that product because she said that she doesn't have to DC as much. When she washes her hair, basically she could wash her hair using that product get out of the shower and just basically go. You know, she said that, you know, of course you want to put, um, you know, oils or something on your ends because your our ends, being that we're natural, need to be moisturized. But really the product is so that it makes your hair so soft and manageable. She was even explaining how the um, detangling process is so much easier. Um, and so... My thing is that I want to get to a point in my regiment that is very, um, very, very simple. Um, what they say, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple. Um, I forgot what the other S is for, but I can imagine. But uh, <laughs> that's my goal is basically to get to a very simple natural hair um, regimen, not only for myself but my daughter. Um, and the goal is right now, um, what I do, I pretty much have made up my mind that I'm not going to be using shampoo anymore because one, of that product, but then Chi Natural, um, I use what I, I have been loving this, it's a no poo uh, co-wash conditioner. Um, I've used it and as you can see, this is like a 16 ounce and I've already used it to about here and I think I've only had it maybe a little over a week that's how much I love it <laughs> but um, I'm just telling you that my hair when I use this product all my curls just love it and it's just like um, I'm to a point I want to co-wash my hair every day because I'm just really enjoying this product but <laughs> I, um, I just don't have time to co-wash every day uh, however, my next goal is uh, to get back onto my weight loss journey, um, which I plan to go ahead and rejoin the gym again. Um, I'm going to have to make it work where, you know, I go to the gym three days a week and then try to do something at home, maybe two or the other three days a week, but I got to get back into the gym because um, I'm looking forward to going on my cruise to Jamaica in the Cayman Islands in March and um, just, uh, you know, getting ready for my big 5 next year. So um, basically, um, just really trying to simplify my regimen, make it simple, get products that work that I can use and go and be done with it. But uh, I really have to say that for my regimen, I do know Shy Natural products are going to be my number, number one product regimen, a product line. My next will be the Terra Essentials. If it works with my hair like it should, and from what I 
have seen with even, and I'm going to watch some more videos of different ladies that you said, but everything that I've seen on it, being that I'm a natural girl, it's like, um, it's a plus. And, and they say that once you use that Terra Essential mud wash, you will never, 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 ever go back to shampoo again. <laughs> and um, so that's my goal is to um, find natural products. I also am still using my Rapunzo um, Future of the Hair Protein Conditioner and the, um, the hair soap. Um, the reason I have to have at least two to three products, and that's what my goal is to get two to three product lines that my hair works well with. It's because my hair goes through this process of I can use a product for six months, even sometimes a year. But after that, it's like I use those same products and it's just like, uh, what happened? So I end up having to try something else. So my goal is to find the products that work well with, with my hair and then every six months I will rotate those products out. Now the other thing that I intend to put back into my hair regimen that I haven't been using um, as much, but now that it's getting colder, I think I will, will be the um, Kimmy Tube Leave-In Conditioner. Um, but instead of using the Kinky Curly Knots today, I will probably be using my Shy Naturals um, product, or my Shy Naturals Moisture um, Leave-In uh, Conditioner. Because... Um, my daughter's hair, when I use it on her hair, it her hair is like silk when I, I do her hair. Sometimes when I use the, um, and I'm, I'm going to give you an example about why I say I have to rotate my products out. When I first started using the Kimmy Tube Leave-In, which was around um, Veterans Day last year, because I did a video on it. Um, my hair, it was just like butter. I could... Um, finger comb through my hair. I really didn't have to detangle that much at all. But then around March, April, May time frame of this year, when I used it, it was like my hair was so I don't wanna I don't know what to say. It was like crunchy. I had to use my tangle teaser. That's why I ended up getting the tangle teaser in May. And also um, my Denman brush for my ends because my answer was just a little hard, and I was just like, what is the deal? But being that I was still near my first year of natural, I was still learning. So, you know, for me sometimes, I would just use something, use something, use something, but I'm beginning to know my hair a little bit more now. So when I feel things like the crunchiness, the my ends being hard, or whatever, that's when I know, okay, it's time to rotate my product. So I'm going to um, probably, I have some oils, but not the oils that I really want to use for it. So I have to order um, some more oils um, that I, I want to use. And I, I have like maybe three that I know for sure, which is the castor oil. Uh, I also used to make a black castor oil, but... I do not use my Jamaican black castor oil in my Kimmy Tube. I had one of um, the hair listers, um, she had asked me because I had put a video on or, um, about using the Kimmy Tube leave-in and I made a note that I did not use the Jamaican black castor oil. Well, of course, Jamaican black castor oil was like one of her to go to oils and she um, sent me a personal message and she wanted to know why uh, couldn't she use it? And I said, well, no, I'm not saying you can't use it because you can, according to even Kimmy Tube, you could rotate your oils out the way you want to. You know, you could use your favorite leave-in creamy conditioner and you can use the oil. But for my hair, I use the products that she used because that's what worked well on mine. Well, she um, did use the Jamaican black castor oil, but then she said she noticed something different. She actually used the regular castor oil in her hair, and she said that her hair just popped 
just like that. And it was more manageable and everything. And she knows the difference. And she came and she said, I really want to thank you for saying that. But it just goes to show that um, what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another. However, um, I always believe in if somebody makes a product um, and it's, you know, specifically geared for certain types of hair, like Kimmy Tube, she's all natural. So I figure if it worked for hair, her hair, and being that I'm all natural and was pH balanced and it was all natural products, then it would work for mine. And for mine, for a while it did. And it still does. I just have to find a way to rotate it back into my hair regimen. So my goal that I'm working on for the next, I would say five to six months, uh, will be to try to really condense um, my regimen so that I will be using 100% natural products for the most part. And when I say 100% natural, the only time that I can see myself not using 100% natural is when I do my henna. Um, I will be using henna, which is natural. However, when I do wash it out, I will use the VO5 um, or either swab, but I'm loving my VO5 um, moisture, moisturizer. I use the moisture milk as well as the lemongrass uh, clarifying um, conditioners. One, because they're cheap, and two, my hair likes it. So that will probably be the only time that I won't use natural products, but for everything else as far as my oils, my um, no poos or you know the terra essential mud wash all of that's going to be natural and uh, i figure by me doing all natural my hair is really going to take off because like i said just using the shy natural products in the last two and a half to three weeks my hair has done fantastic so um with that i'm going to stop this video please leave your comments <laughs> Subscribe. Thank you for stopping by my channel and I will talk to you later. Be blessed. Peace.